Hello everybody, I'm Rude Devil, and this is it. Welcome to Total War Warhammer 3. Finally, 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 finally. So this is going to be a pretty long introduction, so let me just say there'll be timestamps. So if you want to skip the talking, you can get straight into that. But we're going to, we got, we got some text to read. We got some exposition to spout. We got some backstory. Um, so we're going to be playing Grand Cathay. We'll be playing Miao Ying, the Storm Dragon, the Emperor's first daughter. And, you know, let's be fair, her fa or his favorite. I played her a bit in custom battle, and honestly, no hyperbole, she's orgasmic. Just so, so good. I, I she, She's just the best, man. She, she's the best. Like, ideally, I just want her to meet, like, Balthazar Gelt and just have, like, little, like, lore of metal babies. That'd be the best. Anyway, Grand Cathay, past the mountains of Morn, and the steps beyond lie the fabled empire of Cathay. Travelers returning from the eastern reaches tell tales of jade cities and golden pagodas. They recount strange creatures from serpentine dragons to monolithic stone sentinels and flying sky junks that rain multi-hued firepower from up above. That's a run-on sentence and a half. But most of all, they tell of the imposing and disciplined armies that march forth in defense of their kingdom. The thousands of devoted foot soldiers unswerving in their loyalty and unrivaled in their harmonics of war. That their armies faith not face northwards to garrison the great bastion and defend it against the ruinous powers is perhaps a blessing for should the celestial dragon emperor have to turn his legions towards the nation of the west the threat to all that may be unleashed does not bear thinking about so yeah uh we're gonna be playing Mao meow ying a dragon. in human form so yeah, she is the protector of the Great Bastion. The Storm Dragon reigns across northern Cathay and commands the armies of the Great Bastion. Cold and aloof, she has ruled over the northern provinces for centuries and maintains their defenses with strength of arms and wondrous war machines. For the Great Bastion is the shield that protects Cathay from the ruinous powers of the north. And while it stands strong, so too does Cathay prosper. So by default, we get minus two corruption. We get uh, better leadership when fighting is chaos. Uh, improved um, ammo for missiles, minus upkeep for missiles, so we're defending a wall, so obviously they want us to make lots of range units, and we also have harmony, but we'll get into that later. So we're going to do hard campaign and hard battle, because I don't think I could live with myself if I played anything else. So, oh, that's just too badass. So here we go, the Miao Ying campaign, Grand Cafe. Let's fucking go. Grand Cathay, a vast empire to the east, ruled by powerful creatures, dragons, who can inhabit human form. You are gravely mistaken. We have no interest in a mere god's power. No interest in power to use against the forces of chaos? I am Yao Yi, the Storm Dragon. Older than the gods themselves. You are here for a greater purpose. This map shows the energy of all things. There should be harmony, but the world is unbalanced. My younger sister, Shenzhou, bringer of light and hope. She ventured beyond the Norskan Mountains but was lost. Without her, without her light, darkness prevails, and our family has no comfort. Though I feel your loss, the Tome of Fates provides no insight to your sister's whereabouts. Ursa knows he witnessed her fate. Then why does he not tell you, Iron Dragon? There is mistrust between dragons and gods. If we save Ursen, he will tell us how to find Shen Tzu. Let me serve you, mighty dragons. I can reach Ursen. Lead you to him before it's too late. For one drop of his blood. Your destiny is to guide us. The armies of Cathay must breach the Maelstrom and march into chaos. Balance will be restored to the world when Shenzhou is returned to you. A 
Okay, that was my first time watching that cutscene. That was so cool. To find the lost sister, we must hear the God Bear's testament before he passes into myth. I am the anointed guardian of the great bastion. Any breach brings great dishonor upon me. So prove your worth, mortal. Yes, great matriarch. There is indeed a rupture in the great bastion. The forces of Teach invade through the ruins of the Snake Gate and have taken the Terracotta Graveyard. Further along, the Bastion remains under threat from the Changer's forces, or, as you know him, the dread power Qian Chi. Yet, despite the enemy assaults, there remain brave defenders ever loyal to you. Bolster them, and they will gladly confederate with a revered dragon. You will need such allies, for it is on the other side of the wall where the threat is strongest. The eternal siege continues for the dark. There is no way those mammoths are for scale. They're literally the size of the Great Bastion. There, the orchestrator of this woe, Kairos Fateweaver. Face this demonic oracle, lest he bring down the Bastion. Fate Weaver is insidious, and the invasion is only part of his plan. Rebellion festers in Nanyang's minds under the Changer's malign influence. Punishment must be swift to reinforce your authority. Before we can hope to take the fight into the Chaos Realms themselves, we must bring harmony back to Grand Cathay. There is much to do. Alright, so here we go. This is, I don't even know where to start. I'm so excited. There is so much to do here. Look how alive the world map is. This is such an upgrade from Warhammer 2. There's so many just like distinct landmarks and everything. Look at this! Look at this! Giant terracotta sentinels just waiting to be awoken. That's so cool. Alright, so uh, we'll keep the tutorial on, I guess, just because it's a new game. But we probably won't need it. So we have Harmony, we have the Compass, and we have the Ivory Road. We get lots of money in the Ivory Road. The compass gives us, like, faction buffs, and we can, um, alter that as we wish. And harmony is we have yin and yang, so if we have a unit that's harmony yin, he gets a buff when he's near a unit that's harmony yang, and that's basically how it works. So it's really cool. Anyway, yeah, you can shut up now. We're gonna play, um, defeat the following army, Rebel Lords of Nan Yang, and we get an Astromatsa and 1,000 gold. Oh my god, I'm so... Fucking hyped. Look at this place. I mean, I don't know what half these factions are. Some of these are uh, corrupted uh, Cathayans, and then the rest are just chaos. But holy shit. Okay, so this is, um, this has been raised, so we should probably go back here and uh, fix it. Otherwise, they just, they can just mark straight through. Um, this is our home province. What do we got? So we got level two. Iron Hail Gunners. Those are our, um, armor-piercing missiles. Close quarter infantry. Okay. And we have control, which is basically our public order. So, this should all look pretty familiar. Can we make pottery right now? Uh, I don't know what we want. This should all look pretty familiar. Um, if you've, you know, played Warhammer before. Um, but the... It's, it's still like a brand new UI, technically, because, it, like, the uh, icons and the, like, color scheme are all different. I don't know what to do. This is our capital. I don't think I want to go for growth in the capital. I think we just want to go with, um... Um... Oh, so these are mutually exclusive. Okay. But these are all capped at level 3. I'm not sure we want to build it in our capital. I think we're actually just... I think I'm actually going to go, um... I'm going to go... Oh, no, that's level 3 too. We got level 5, level 4. Oh, my God. What do we do? I don't even know. Okay, we'll just go for pottery because that's the one I know. Alright, what, what's he looking like? He's only four. Ziyong Piao. Alright. Um, can we improve the, uh... We'll put animation speed on fast, just so we're not here all day. I'm just... There we go. I feel like the game just... It's a bit sluggish if you don't do this. And it's a shame you can't do this in, like, multiplayer. Maybe you can do that in multiplayer now. I haven't, I haven't actually tested it. Alright. Turn one. Harmony. Bloodshed. Look at all this stuff. So, diplomatic relations. We have to... Stay in balance. So we've got one for yin. That's what that uh, faction buff meant. So we've got minus construction cost, growth, 
and income. Also, we get bonus income from Yang if we go through Yin. Oh, this is going to hurt my brain. Not really. Okay, here we go. The Storm Dragon. Battle is upon us. Study your All right, as is customary in every first battle in our playthrough, we will be um, real timing it. Even though he's just got some peasant spearmen and peasant archers, it, we, we just have to. It's the law. So here we go. Miao Ying, the Storm Dragon. And how awesome did she look in that cutscene? That was that's orgasmic. I told you already. Okay, here we go. Here we are, boys. Channel magic. Um, is this like the risk? Oh, yeah, it's risky. Okay, now we're not going to do that. We're always told to risk. So here we are. Yes. Okay, you, we're going to turn you off now. Okay. No, that, that's great. That, that, that's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we know. So, yeah, this is uh, the Cathayan farmlands. Look how gorgeous this place is. We start with the Sky Junk, which have four guns. No, sorry, three guns. No, I was right, four guns. It has bombardment. And I actually learned a, a nice trick. We can actually spin this guy around so they all start firing. But the Sky Junk is a really good, um, a really good unit to use. And um, what do we got? Celestial Dragon Guard. All right. I'm not sure whether I'll keep the big, like, green aura you can change the color to whatever you want um which is actually kind of cool but i'm not sure if i'll keep it or, uh, or not because it's a little bright you know all right we've got peasant horsemen we don't really need them we'll just keep them there so let's just turn off the hud and we just appreciate the finer things that image already is holy jesus what is it about ancient china that i love so much like even in Age of Empires 4, I play, um, uh, I, I play China, and, um, oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. I've already made the thumbnail, but that could easily be it. And these are the Celestial Dragons. Holy shit. Okay, so yeah, so they're dragons. She's a dragon in, uh, human form, as she says. Plus four magical attacks. So which one gives yin and which one gives yang? These are yang. And these are yin. So when they're near each other, um, what's the actual buff? Uh, leadership and melee defense. And these ones get reload skill and, and leadership. Okay, so you want to keep them pretty close. Alright, these guys are literally going to just... We're just going to go... Okay, you need to stop that. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to enjoy it for the first battle, you know? We're just going to try and make it cinematic, you know? Grand Cafe. Grand indeed. I think the Sky Junk could actually just wipe all of this, you know? Man, that's so fucking badass. <laughs> the way Her strut is amazing! Her strut, she's like, yeah. She's like, she's about to appear in a JLo video or something. I don't know. Alright, here we go. We'll test our bombardment, shall we? Oh, that's pretty good. Alright, so if we just put them in between all their units, the missile launchers should be able to just kill all of them. Alright, let's go. Wrath of the Storm, baby doll. Here we fucking go. Oh my god, she goes up. That is beautiful. They added in so many awesome animations. They really, like, um, gave them so many unique animations. Like, attack animations. Alright, we're just having the rest of our army march. Damn, that's fucking cool. We can turn someone to a dragon. All in good time. This is a new Yin ability. That wasn't frame rate there. Uh, I've got it so when you're hovering over a spell, it goes slow-mo. Which I'm not sure how it manages to do that without, like, completely fucking up or whatever. Actually, we could probably move these guys back. I'm so glad I turned that off. Alright, here we go, boys. Alright, probably corrupted by the forces of chaos, or you're just a fucking idiot. I don't know which. But transformation of the dragon. Oh, yeah. Good luck rebelling against a god. For oh, and Victor already! Yeah, I'd insta-route too, actually. I'm not even judging him. I'd literally insta-route too. So yeah, when she's in dragon form, let's have a look at her stats. Um, actually, I don't even know how her stats uh, measure up with that. Um, 
But I know her her spell. I think she loses her lore of life when she's uh, in the dragon stage. But she keeps all of her yin magic, which is pretty cool. And even the dragon itself has multiple animations. Although I think it's just repeating that one because he's running away. She can breathe like lightning fire on him. She is the storm dragon after all. No? I think he actually got a bit faster. Is he dead? No, he just fell. Are you actually hitting him, Miao <laughs> Ying? There we go. Absolutely beautiful. Terrifyingly beautiful. And she just flies like... She just courses through the map. So much of this game is just... Yeah, I think... I haven't checked out... I, I played Kislev and I played Cathay. But everything about Cathay I, I adore. Everything. From the lore, to the units, to the effects, to just the uh, stages. Or rather the uh, maps. Everything is just so perfect. And not a single loss. Yeah, there were a bunch of peasants. I think they made the first battle easier. Um, there is a prologue in this game. Which is designed to... Um, oh, our Sky Junk took damage. Okay, I was going to go for leadership, but we'll go for unit replenish, because I don't want to lose our advanced unit. Yeah, okay. Um, that's an 8 garrison. We got our first banner, we got our uh, movement speed. Alright. Astromancer. There we go. So, the openings are actually kind of easy. Um, there is a prologue to go with these campaigns because they, they're they trying to bring in... This is just how it was explained to me. They're trying to bring in um, basically more players. They, they, want to, they want to make it very new player friendly because there's already like the core set for veterans. So uh, there's a prologue to ease new players in. So if you're new, don't fear about that. Anyway, the Astromancers themselves are wizards. I think the two heroes they get are both wizards. Um, these guys have lore of heavens. Which is actually one of my favorites, so we're pretty good there. We're going to recruit. We're going to do our technology, which is really long. Um, this one's dumb. Harmony plus one Yang. I think we're just going to keep going with the Yin then. Um, oh, but we lose control, really? Oh, we lose control no matter what. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, this is going to be difficult, man. Plus one Yang. Plus four for peasants. Yin, plus ammunition for peasant archers. Uh, armor for peasant long spears. Uh, you know what, let's go... Oh god. We get vehicle loss reduction. We get armor. And we get growth. I don't know what to do. Let's just go with this. I feel like by the time we're done with everything... I feel like by the time we're done with everything... Um, we saw upon triumph. The hell's all this? Uh, do, do, do. No siege equipment. Yeah, we know. I feel like by the time we're done with everything, the yin and yang should balance itself out. We should be fine. Okay, we can send out a caravan, maybe. The panel displays your caravans. Okay. Okay, I don't think we can do this yet. We've got one dude. No, we can't dispatch it yet. Okay. Oh, this map is humongous. Uh, and a compass. A Defensive supplies plus 500. That's to buff the Great Bastion. And we can't actually do this yet. Okay, it'll it'll notify me when we're doing it. Oh, caravan dispatch is available. Oh, excuse me. Um, if we just do this, we'll spend 750 getting him. And let me see. Okay, okay, I just got it. So is this how much money it costs or how much we get? Uh-oh. So there's a battle there. Overall threat high. Overall threat high. Do we want to do this now? We'll send one. We'll, we'll send one for now. And we'll just see how it goes. Cargo value 500. Cost 500. Uh, destination. Yeah, we set... Uh, actually, can we just set... We'll set it here. You know what? We'll, we'll just do... Wait... What was the journey time there? Six? Why is it less to go further? It's less turns to go further. You probably have to fight more battles there. 
Okay, we'll just do the first one for now. Just to sort of test it out. And then there we go. Storm dragon. Did she not level up? Oh, meow. Dragon. Okay, well, here we go. Man, I feel, like I'm, I feel like I've been recording for an age. And we've only done one turn. There's 106 factions, most of which we haven't discovered yet. Are you kidding me, Beastmen? Redhorn Tribe. Yep. Oh, you've got to be cotton picking me, boys. Redhorn Tribe. I'm already annoyed. Okay. So this guy has an army. Five plus the eight garrison. I don't want him to reinforce. We're making our pottery building. We're at minus three. Dude, this is so cool. There's so much stuff to do. This is such a grander campaign than... Like, if I... Let, let's say I started as Lizardmen in Lustria. It's just sort of... Yeah, I feel like this is just way more in-depth. Th they put so much more effort into this one. At launch, anyway. Like, Warhammer 2 by the end was amazing. But you get what I mean. It just feels more complete. Alright, what is this? Defensive supplies. Oh, is it a siege battle? I think it's a siege battle. If I order resolve, I'd lose all of my melee. Yeah, okay. That's probably what it is. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna fight this one, then. Alright, so it's our first siege battle, and the, the supplies that it has, obviously he can build uh, defensive uh, buildings, because um, they revamped the way siege works. Ready to but we're basically just going to try and run him down. Oh, we got Peasant Longbowman. It, it seems, um, maybe this is more Yao Ming Stop stuff, because uh, our units don't really need... Uh, Actually, I guess I got some peasants, so the early the skills do apply to me. Alright, we're gonna put the Celestial Dragon in there. The we're gonna lock them in formation because we want them to be within the yin and yang buff, Mistress you know? Alright, and we've got our hero here, here, which we'll check out in a sec. Can we attack from another side, do you think? It's kind of interesting, we'll put them there. We'll hotkey them. And our Astromancer has Harmonic Convergence. Let's have a quick look at him. Oh, fancy. He's got like a Imperial, like, Imperial Helmet. And the Knight is falling on us. Alright, we better get a move on. Alright, I can't see much. It is our sworn duty to defend Cathay. It sure is. Oh, he put all of his units... He put two spearmen there. Alright. Well, you can go that way. That makes things a lot easier. <laughs> Good job, AI. Showing your strength already. So these are the close quarter ones, but we did recruit... Uh, no, I think we recruited the Iron Hell Gunners. We had the things already. Alright, he's moving to the sides. So this settlement is actually pretty difficult to defend because there's open pathways. All right, they're running away. Let's have a look at our spell, shall we? Storm of Shadows. I love how she just... She's like, she's like basically a being of lightning. It's so badass. She's basically a lightning goddess. And I guess the speed is just useful. Whether they're engaging or disengaging, you know? Oh, I think these guys... Yeah, they have like uh, explosive... Yeah, like, very rudimentary, like, typical of, uh, ancient China. That's so badass. Okay. Are we just gonna take this? We're just gonna kill them? Yeah, I think we got this. We actually managed to surround them. That's pretty good. He's built a barricade there. Alright, you get started on that, prison guard. We'll try and capture the key uh, strongholds. He's built barricades everywhere, actually. Oh, he basically boxed us in. Uh, boxed us in. Yeah, we'll try and actually get these uh, archers out in the open. That'd be pretty badass. All right. Yo, hit that. The storm wind blows. The storm wind blows. This is actually really cool. This is a minor settlement battle. Is it Mushu? We just found fucking Mushu. I love this game. <laughs> this is so damn cool. <laughs> okay, Sky Junk. 
We're actually gonna fly in. Are those archers? No, they're... F oh, they're all anti-lurge, and they regrouped already. What's that? That's his... Oh, that's his hero. We can probably get that, actually. Let's try it. So there's the Z symbol. Um, we're just gonna capture that with peasants. There's the Z symbol. Means they don't have... Um, the... Uh, harmony buff. Alright, let's move up. We're a bit slow here. Can we destroy this? Maybe we'll drop a bomb on it. I love that it's like a little ramp that they built. That's so cool. What about this? Can they hit that? Let's see them fire, shall we? Basically, cafe and handgunners. That's so cool. Like, Redel, we had handgunners in Warhammer 2. Yes, I know, but this is cafe. And I just dropped a fucking bomb on that dude. Alright, peasants will capture this. Halberdiers are gonna go... Oh no, these are the uh, Dragon Guard, right? Yeah, they've got it. We move our hero there. Alright, barricade is down. Move up to the front. I love this sky jump, by the way. It's so cool. Because as I said, you can just spin it around and just have all those guns shoot at once. Alright, are we gonna, are we gonna see a clash here? Nice. Astro Monster? Let's buff our friends, shall we? Do you like his cape? They just na- like, Cathay. I just- I, I've said it before, just the whole theme of it is so badass. Okay, we're destroying that. Miao Ying has literally flanked him. Lamao, have fun. Go on, get in there. Oh my god, okay. I think we'll just set them off in a line so they can shoot through. Wait, what happened to our cavalry? I think they retreated. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We did to go after a, a hero and put him on half hell. Alright, they're killing that. Miao Ying? Let's traverse this place, shall we? We'll make you flying. If she can actually fly over walls with this, then that's insane. Master of Tempest. The Sky Junk is kind of slow. I think that's the big weakness with it. The, don't tell me she's going to fly over the wall. Do not tell me. Oh, yes. Alright, those are Halberdiers. They're anti-large. And I would dare say we're large. But fuck it. There it is! <laughs> oh, okay, we're going off to the Astromancer now. I am an Astromancer! Oh shit, he's actually flanking us. You cheeky get. I'm not sure why they just sort of let them uh, get hit there, but whatever. We do have Earth Blood, but we're in our dragon form, so we don't for the time being. I think, I don't know, I think the color highlight. I'm not quite a fan of it highlighting them. I'm not sure. There's probably a setting I can disable that. It sort of gets in the way of a lot of the uh, the beauty of it. And these guys are just going to move them out here. Oh, parts of the building are on fire. That's cool as hell. All right, where's that Astro Monster? There he is. Should be should should row him any second now. So what's your movie about? Uh, you know that dragon from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, he got pissed. <laughs> Look at him! I'm not sure about that running animation. I'm not sure about that one. Dude, this is so cool. I'm just gonna... By about the 500th hour of uh, Warhammer 2, I was just sort of going through everything as, you, as you'd expect, you know? Those are my peasants, right? Yeah. But this, I'm... I'm just letting it... Letting it all sink in. Mistress of Storms. Alright, that should be full route. So it's got the victory points up here. The key building. Where's the key building? Oh, there's key buildings? Oh, that's badass as hell. I wasn't really bothered about it because, uh... Well, we were just gonna win through military might. 
But it's cool that, you know, you could just go for the key building. Alright, so how did everyone do? Well, we sent the peasants, they, we sent the horsemen after the uh, lord, so that makes sense, but... Eh, it's alright. 91 casualties is acceptable for Grand Cathay. There's like 3 billion of us. Ooh! Ward save. Talisman of, pres of uh, preservation. That is a great first item to have. Uh, I'm not sure about these icons. They're kind of basic looking. But there we go. Mines of Nan Yang. Alright, does that equip automatically? It does. Cleanse the mines. Capture and occupy. Okay, we got this as well. Um, wait, what is this? Hopefully that's not the... Uh, is that a talisman as well? Um, take the gunpowder road. Maintain the control of the following province. I do not think so. <laughs> Maintain control. Uh, where is the gunpowder road? Leave me to my Yo, gunpowder road. Oh, it's all of this. So we need Nan, Nan Lee. Where's Nan Lee? Oh, there it is. Okay, nice. Oh, it literally has the mission icon. That's so cool. And this will be all DLC. Awesome. Alright, so we've got to... We're just going to secure our first province. Who's this guy? The Lord Magistrate stands ready. Oh, that's our caravan! Oh, that's badass, man! Who's this? Uh, we want the Western Kingdoms. No, our brother isn't near us. We are favored daughter of the Emperor. Okay, so there's the bridge there. He can't actually get to us, there's no way. Alright, Peasant Archers, Harmony Yin. Expendable. I like the idea of that. Armored and Shielded. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get a few more. We'll get one of these and one of those. Um, just because these guys can't shoot over troops. They're, they are basically handgunners. Alright, so what has she got? You know, we'll get to that when she actually levels up. Level 12. Yeah, that, that's that's always... Okay, we won't, we won't look at that. It'll be part of the fun. Alright, Root Marcher. Inspiring Presence, Earth Blood, hard to hit. Um, yeah, so she gets a mixture of Lore of uh, Yin. And um, Lore of Life. Talons of Night, Earthy, Magical Reserves, Arcane Conduit. Alright. I think... I think we'll just get the bonus leadership, just in case we find ourselves fighting a shit ton of chaos, because that that is usually a concern. And we've got bonus spells for this guy. Rolling Skies would be good too. Alright, and turn two is over. LOL! <laughs> okay, this is, the, this is officially the best game ever. Redhorn Tribe just did us a favor. Caravan encountered Lost Patrol. Um, add unit. Oh, sweet. Um, we'll go with these guys. This is cool. Base weapon damage. Do they count as an extra lord? Defeat the following faction. Sartorial's Watchers. Oh, well, gee, I wonder who they belong to. They're at the Terracotta Graveyard. Alright, we'll talk to these guys. What the hell is this? Non-aggression plaque. Plaque? So this is how many relations you get. Um. So trade settlement, declare war, join war against payments. Agree. Okay, they've accepted that. So this is all new. Long live. Okay, so this is basically, these numbers are, think of them as like likelihoods, you know? Alright, so we've basically got everything. She's basically our, we're basically her lord and savior, so it makes sense. Cafe Eternal. And they are all up in the north, so we can't actually see them yet. God, this is so cool. So the, the main things that we were worried about in Warhammer 2, which was uh, diplomacy, which was basically pointless by the end of Warhammer 2. And uh, siege battle. Siege battle seemed to be redone in a really good way. And, uh, we'll test that out more. And, yeah, diplomacy's been changed, but we still don't know how good the AI is with regards to responding to, like, alliances. So we'll have to test that out later. I can't actually, like, be concrete, like, yeah, military alliances are worth your time now, you know? Okay. I'm surprised the recruitment is low. Oh, no, we didn't actually move this turn, did we? The Emperor's chosen daughter. 
the Emperor's chosen daughter. I love this fucking game. Oh, that's how it does it now. So a lot of them, they basically changed all the menus. Um, obviously. That means they're in the same group, right? Yeah. Fuse, salvage. Okay. So they clip, they tied up a lot of the menus. Um, so it takes a while to get used to. Ready to defend. Wrath of the Dragon. I might, I, I haven't synced up the sound. I think I might actually make, um, hold on. How do we so, encircle? I'm just going to increase the, uh, Audio on speech. There we go. Might of the storm. That's better. Now we hear her. Okay. Manly, this is to unite the province. Why are we losing troops in an ens in an encircle? We lose a jade warrior and a peasant. You know what? They will be F to pay respects, boys. These are Oh, we got a Tementor Sword. Oh, that's one of my favorites. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. We remain and there it is. We're getting a lot of good gear. Um, Miao Ying's one of those, like, hybrids. She's like spellcaster warriors. Not the tankiest warrior. And not the not the best spellcaster. But still a decent hybrid. Warden of the Great Bastion. Okay. Man, how I must have had the speech way too low. Maybe I'll put them all on 90 next time, who knows. Okay, we're gonna recruit Jade Warrior. And how many Peasant Spearmen do we have? We'll just get Spearmen just so we say we have Anti-Large, you know? Okay, now for Grand Cathayan. Um, we're gonna get extra pottery. I love pot. What is this? This is the barracks, okay. Um, control plus four. Chance of Plague Spreading, minus 40. Yeah. Um, in case you didn't know, there's lots of Warp Stone in Cathay. And there's lots of Skaven in Cathay. So, yeah. Research rate. Um, this is basically if you're under attack. That list of men has something similar to that. Recruitment cost. Lo local recruitment capacity plus one. That's pretty good. Actually, it decreases recruitment cost. And buff to trade as well. Ooh. I th these two are really good. I like these two. But we're going to go with this. <laughs> this is great. But I like this. Um, just because the... The... The uh, public order is, uh, is concerning me yeah. a bit. Okay, um, we've allied with you. Ah, who's this? Descent to Lords of G- Okay, that's not our friend. Oh, we're actually at war with them. Well, Mother Fuhrer. Okay. Okay, I think we'll head that way then. We'll take this one, and then I think we'll end. I wanted to go north and take the Terracotta Graveyard, because he is a concern as well. Oh, there's green skins here. Oh, yeah, we just need to kill this beast, man. He's raiding. Okay. Uh, recruit 20 forces. Raise a standard. Okay, he's giving us a lot of a lot of useful quests. And a lot of good items. The Tormentor Sword obviously allows us to... Um, we'll take that. But the Tormentor Sword allows us to freeze enemies. So uh, they can't escape. Okay, we'll upgrade this level too. And what was the building we got here? Plus one yin. So our yin is at... Is that three or four? That's oh, his three. Okay. So once it goes into four, we get bonus from yang buildings, but less... Um, less public order. I guess maybe we want... We want yin plus three and yang plus three. Income from trade. So, hmm. With this combined with all the commandments, it could be like a high elf thing where we end up having just a tremendous amount of uh, trade income. Which would imply that we want to keep our friends alive. Because then we would have people to trade with. Wait, who's this? I am no one's slave. Oh, they're chasing our caravan. We've got this and we've got Beastman. Okay, I think we'll just do one final battle. Shrine of the Full Metal Alchemist. That will have to wait. And those beastmen... Those fucking beastmen will have to wait. I can't believe they're here on the episode one. So, play battle is the big button in the middle. How weird's that? Oh, she just zapped him! <gasps> Holy Mary Jane, she just zapped him. Yeah, Zhao praying. Yeah, you better be praying. 
All right, we just saved our caravan. That's cool as hell. I like this game. Okay, he's recruiting an army here. So we're going to go this way. One of these. One of these. What's our upkeep? 700? That's fine. The Emperor's favorite dude. I'm not a dude. Oh. Uh, power of Yin. So when she's casting, uh, she reduces armor when she's casting? Holy melon and in. Okay, uh, we're making a lot of... Uh, she actually buffs her archers. Maybe we should be focusing on that more. Man, I don't know. Me gusta, I don't know. You know, it will, make me, it will make me feel a lot better if I just get this once. Don't judge me. Okay. Uh, I said this is going to be last turn, but no, we're going to do one more. Rolling skies, please. Compass available. Okay, so we get growth per region. And we can increase it. Control. Defensive supplies. Active when direction is set. Um, Great Bastion Threat minus 2% a turn. Recruitment cast down. Army Ability. Celestial Intervention. Oh, it's a Bombardment. Income from all buildings. Chance of Winds of Magic. Dragon's Emperor's Wrath. Extreme Attrition applied to armies beyond the Great Bastion. Unlocked when the energy is full. Oh, okay. So you basically want to keep this on full when you're defending the Great Bastion. I want to see what this Celestial Intervention is, so... Ah, oh, lights up, that's so badass. Alright. So now this is going up. And um, as it goes up, the buffs go up. And then when you change direction, the buffs will slowly go down, so you don't lose it straight away. Okay. One more turn. And then episode one of Meow Ying is done. This is so cool. This is so much more engaging and in-depth than... Let me see. I didn't... What was my first campaign? I think I did uh, Skrulk. And that was just basically defending against annoying lizards. Celestial Silk Robe. Okay. 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 The storm. I don't want to attack him. Um, I want to attack him when I know he won't be able to run away. Otherwise, he'll be invisible and we'll be fucked. When Miao Ying asks, you answer. When Miao Ying asks, you answer. I always forget which one I'm on. We're on Yin, right? Okay. Now I know. Let's go for... Let's go for... Look at that icon, dude. Okay, so that's going to be plus one Yang. From Great Bastion Threat. Snake Gate Ruined. Oh, so every so often the enemies will attack the Great Bastion. That's what that bar is. We're getting close. Oh, it's a good thing I did what I, I said then. Nice. Dude, this is cool. This is just this is just good. We've got caravans to worry about. We've got our own internal strife. And then the ever-looming threat of... Uh, Treasury minus 100. Oh, you know, okay, we're not going to fight this. What the hell is that? Okay, I'm not actually allowed to show ogres. They, they told me I wasn't allowed to show ogres yet, so we're actually going to have to take the long way around. They're very, um, for some reason, there's something about ogres they don't want to show uh, early on, at least for not uh, people in my tier. Alright, so if we take this, he's got a big army coming. Here we go. Pyrrhic victory. Oh my god. Okay, we're going to be fighting a third one. And then we can't take too many casualties. Because we've got another army coming. And he's got some Celestial Dragon units. This guy's pretty tough. And he's got 1,500 defensive supplies. Alright, well here we go. Marked by the dragon. Holy... Yeah, hey, can you tell that there's chaos energy in the sky? They did such a tremendous job. Okay, so this is the same map. But we're going to change up the tactics, so we'll be like doing two different maps. Redevil, you're a genius. I know. Thank you. I'm the best. We're going to do two different groups. One led by our Astromancer. And another led by... Um, Miao Ying. Alright. Uh, the peasants... Th these guys can just sit back. They're, they're, they're done. They're, they're, their war is done. Your war is over. Okay, so he'll lead that company, and Miao Ying will attack from this side, um, which is really cool. Uh, I didn't really exploit just uh, the the possibilities.
Okay. The Celestial Daughter. Master of Tempest. Master Mage. Okay. Maybe we could attack from a third side. Screw it, we'll just do that, yeah. Why not? Order and, balance. and then we've got the sky jank that's just gonna, you know. Just be cool, man. Just be cool. Alright, into the death trap. They all attacked us here? That's okay. Yeah, we'll attack the Jade Warriors there. Oh, actually, the cavalry does have, does have a job. We'll go there. Skyjank will head this way. And then... This is cool. This is a minor settlement. It's humongous. There's four points plus a main point. And uh, we're attacking from multiple sides. This is variety we didn't get before. My guy. Me Gusta. Big Gusta. They call me Gusta because I get the most. Okay, uh, we'll just put you there. Yeah, this highlighting thing is kind of annoying though. I'm going to have to look at the settings for that. And there's Miao Yang leading the pact. We do have the AoE slow. We do get the buff, remember, when we cast. And we'll just hit them there. And they'll head there. They all seem to be running away. What's the matter? Have you never seen a dragon in human form before? Oh, you're going to run into my halberds. That is a big no-no. Uh, crossbowman. We'll just put you there. Seeking a path. Alright. Jade warriors, flank round. We need to get our... Our range guys in there. And here we go, boys. And Meow Yang, let's go, boys! Yeah, they've got no chance. Literally no chance. In fact, we'll use, we'll use Earth Blood. I, I heard the lightning, and I had so much PTSD from Warp Lightning, I assumed it was Warp Lightning. That really says a lot about Skaven. <laughs> yeah, our own Hail Gunners. We're sort of getting caught up in other troops, that's okay. That's the problem with Hand Gunners. It's okay, the Sky Junk's moving. Oh no, they're taking out our cavalry. Oh, they took out... Oh, those are peasant archers. Well, no wonder. Oh, they're being shot by a tower. Oh, that's cool. Alright. Taking a bit of casualties. Nothing that can't be undone. Did his lord just fucking bail? I feel like it bailed. Oh no, he went to go attack on this side. We have Wind Blast. If I knew how he was going to set up, there's no way this is going to work. Lamau, it did. It just bounced back off the walls. Well, there's a way to kill him. Sent by Gairad. Sent by Gairad. He's got Celestial Dragon Guard. I think that's the problem here. Let's do Harmonic Convergence. Alright, so we lost. We have five peasant horsemen left. Hmm. These archers are kind of. not pathing right, you know? Alright, I don't think it's quite time yet to in to transform into a dragon. They are halberdiers after all. God, she's so cool though. I can't get over just how cool she is. Oh, you want to know why my path thing's fucking up? I'm hitting two to shortcut Miao Ying forgetting that I did all of this. That's my bad. <laughs> That's probably why. Let's 
See how many different animations they have? It's so cool. She's just like... She attacks like a dragon in her human form. And that's most likely by default. Alright, it's show off time now. Show them what they lost to. If you don't think that's impressive, then I can't help you. Because that is the coolest thing in this game. I don't care about Nurgle or Kairos or Scarbrand or even Bellacor. Meow Ying the Storm Dragon is a fucking boss. Alright, I'm getting shot by something. Hmm. I guess it is on hard battles, so I guess their, their leadership is increased on hard battle. But yeah, I was sort of expecting after that showcase for them to just, you know, route. Oh, thank you. Th thank you, Skyjunk. That was amazing cover fire there. Thank you for... Who the hell's fly flying that thing? Oh, she's actually kind of cute. All right, never mind. She gets away with it. And there it is. We lost 179, but they were our peasants, our peasant bowmen and our peasant cav. Okay. I think that should be enough to um, deal with the oncoming army. We still outnumber him. And if he actually attacks us, then we get to defend the garrison, which will be cool because we haven't done that yet. Scepter of Stability. I'm just getting items out the wazoo here. Alright, what is this? Um, plus one Yang. That will put us back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I guess we'll get growth and some income from the other settlements. I didn't actually want to go south yet, It's but we were at war, so I kind of had to. Um, see, I thought the caravans were, like, off-map. But no, they literally go through the world map. And that's why it's precarious. Alright, we might have to form, like, alliances with this, um... With Yuan Shan Fu. Because we are at war with the uh, Terracotta Graveyard. And that does concern me just a teensy-weensy bit. Anyway, this was the end of episode one. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Ding that bell because YouTube doesn't work unless you do. And uh, tell me what you found most impressive about Cathay so far. They are just cool. Um, I do think I'm going to get rid of that highlight. Like, this is just... I feel like that undoes the game so much. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm in the minority there. But anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time. New episode out tomorrow. I'll come out daily because hell yeah. And I'll see you next time. Peace out. Goodbye.